when you're planning to live together, that's the perfect time to think about what sadly might happen if you don't stay living together. Sounds a bit negative, doesn't it? But I'm sure sometimes when people move in with each other, they do have that doubt, oh, I hope this works. Well, the hoping bit means that you need to cover what happens if, sadly, that doesn't happen. So, that's why you might need an agreement, a living together agreement, a cohabitation agreement, whatever label you want to put on it. Now, how do you address that? Well, it can get quite difficult um, from a legalistic point of view if you treat it too legalistically. However, there is a, a way in which you can sit around the table with your lawyer to help you make sure you focus on the right things and collaborate to organise that agreement. And that is going to be particularly useful because, of course, you're a couple. Uh, you are living together. You want to live together. You may already have children together. You may already have a rather disproportionate arrangement. You may have uh, your guy may have owned the house and you don't. You may be the guy who's looking after the children and your partner is the career girl who is earning the money to pay the mortgage. If you decide to go your separate ways then it's really useful to have the uh, agreement there to fall back on because it sets out what is going to happen, where you're going to go, what the money is going to be, how the money is going to be sorted out, how maybe the care of the children is going to be sorted out and how in the future you may want to liaise and, and respect that time you have together by organising your affairs in the future, having collaborated to sort it all out. Now that's great because that means if you do it at the start and you do it before you fall into any of the traps that can happen later in your life, you will avoid all that anxiety that comes with that. Um, as a collaborative lawyer myself in my Stephen Rumor team, uh, I am fortunate because within the rest of the Stephen Rumor organisation, we do have advisors about wills, we have advisors about property, about trusts, about commercial issues such as businesses, and so we can cover every aspect of these affairs should you want to come to us and we can offer you that collaborative product that will help you organise your affairs for living together, whether you've just started or if you are looking for the future and want to organise yourself from here. But it is well worth looking at that to avoid the traps that otherwise, sadly, cohabitation can create for you both. Particularly for the mum at home looking after the children. It is not what you would otherwise expect from a divorce settlement. It is a very different situation and that's why to reach an agreement with your partner and do it well ahead of any problems, of any choppy water, the right time to do it is at the earliest possible time and with advice that helps you find the right solution for the future.